Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number one, a kidnapped Catholic priest, Reverend Father John Mark Chetnum, who was the director of social communication, Catholic Diocese of Kapanchan in Kaduna State, has been reported murdered by his abductors. However, Reverend Father Donatus Klopas, who was kidnapped with the late priest, escapes and reunited with his family. Chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Kaduna State Chapter, Reverend Joseph Hayab, confirmed the news. The corpse of Father Chetnam was found on a farm close to where he was kidnapped. The terrorists on Friday, July 15, 2022, kidnapped the two Catholic priests in the Kafenchan Catholic Diocese. At number two, the Independent National Electoral Commission on Tuesday mentioned that inmates in Nigeria correctional centers might vote during the 2023 general elections. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu disclosed this when he received the Comptroller General of the Nigeria Correctional Service, Haliru Nababa, and his team at the Commission's headquarters in Abuja. Yakubu affirmed that the Commission was committed to inclusivity, including the rights of inmates to vote during elections. Nevertheless, he stated some issues that need to be addressed, including the legal framework, security, PVC registration, voter education, amongst others. At number three, a tanker exploded at a truck garage, popularly known as Abuki Garage, on the Oshodi Apapa Expressway on Tuesday. The tanker was loaded with 33,000 liters of automotive gas oil. An unidentified man was burned to death while several other people were left injured. Many trucks packed at the garage were also affected. Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service were seen at the scene of the incidents trying to put out the fire. As of the time of filing this report, the emergency agency and other authorities were yet to respond. The Nigerian army has ordered reopening of the Medjugorje Damboa Road for the free movement of motorists to and from Medjugorje Borno State. The army announced the new development on its Twitter page on Tuesday. The road, which is said to be the shortest route to various parts of Borno through Damboa was shot as a result of terrorist attacks. The road was first deserted and subsequently closed after the Boko Haram insurgents captured Damboa local government and hoisted their flag there in July 2014. After being reopened in February 2016, November 2018, it was closed again. At number five, the Nigerian government has extradited a wire fraud suspect named Fatade Olamile Khan to the United States to face fraud charges. The spokesperson for the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Wilson Owajarin, in a statement on Tuesday said that Olamile Khan was flown to the U.S. last Thursday. The suspect, who was arrested on September 30, 2021, is on the wanted list of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, is accused of stealing over $3.5 million worth of equipment in various cities across the United States. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening. <music>